Advances in technology at UMaine are making it easier for people to keep track of what they're putting in their bodies. These people have a better idea about uh, what kind of food they are taking and this way they can easily kind of manage their these chronic health, these health conditions. And that's how we got the idea for the SIPBIT. SIPBIT is technology designed for senior citizens and those who suffer from health conditions like diabetes and other ailments that can correctly identify the sugar content of a beverage through electrical impedance measurement. University of Maine Assistant Professor of Spatial Commuting Namisha Ranasinga explains how these electrical currents are used to make sugar content. We have like two metal electrodes uh, uh, submerged and then we are passing tiny electrical current or electrical pulses between these two electrodes and then we record the differences of impedance. And once this is done, they'll be able to pinpoint exactly what the drink is and the sugar content of that beverage. According to Ranasinka, he says it becomes tiresome when senior citizens and those who struggle with health conditions like cancer, heart and kidney diseases, and diabetes have to manually record what they eat and drink daily. Rana Sinka says SipBit makes it easier to record this information. We uh, extract that information and we combine with machine learning, uh, which makes it very powerful and very accurate to detect those uh, components on, of a beverage. And then we can uh, miniaturize and now we can integrate into a everyday utensil or like, a, for example, like a cup where people can use it every day in their everyday lives to uh, record this information. Even with similar products on the market, PhD student Chama Amarasinka says none are as reliable as SipBit. Uh, currently, at the moment, the uh, dietary applications usually involves uh, mobile apps that kind of take an image of the food and kind of uh, analyze it with image processing. The problem with this kind of uh, visual uh, visual methodologies is that uh, it is kind of unable to give uh, internal information about the food. In its infancy stages, Rana Singa plans on incorporating this into our daily lifestyles. People get more information and people get like awareness, okay, I have been eating not necessarily like a uh, a few cups of uh, coffee or a few cups of uh, tea and match their activities or calorie intake or requirements with the actual intake more accurately. Reporting from Orno, Matthew Jurancic, ABC7 and Fox 22.